Today I'll be giving you a quick talk through on how an aluminium frame is installed into masonry wall. Uh, more specifically, a, a double leaf wall uh, with a 50mm cavity. Um, this is the example we'll be looking at today. Uh, we'll be using 3D software to build up the wall uh, to show you the components. Uh, looking at some technical drawings and some photographs as well. Alright, let's get started. So, like any good window, it needs a good wall. And uh, today we're, we'll be building the wall out of uh, bricks from the Boral website. Uh, you can get these at uh, boral.com.au and they give you a PDF um, of the different types of bricks uh, they have. So we've got our single course common brick and our double course fast wall brick as well. All right. So there's our wall. Um, with our opening in it. Now, the opening needs to be a certain size and a certain height, uh, depending on the, t uh, the window that we're installing and the function of that window. Uh, so, uh, in the example, as we'll see later in the photographs, they use these single course bricks uh, to achieve uh, the desired effect. Uh, now, we have an opening, which is all well and great, but it's not a supported opening. Um, and uh, because the uh, aluminium windows are a non-supporting structure, we will have to provide support uh, for the weight uh, and, uh, uh, that is applied to this area of the opening. Um, so to counteract and uh, prevent this uh, window from falling in, this opening from falling in, we pop lintels in. Um, and a lintel is just a flat piece of metal that runs the length of the opening. Um, and into the coursework a little bit as well, if we can actually just uh, show you that. Okay. So yeah, it runs into the coursework a little bit. All right, so now we have a supported opening and we are now ready to install our window. Now our window is uh, placed in the opening and it actually rests on the, on the outer leaf. Uh, if you see here, part of that window is just sitting uh, on the outer leaf. Um, now the window is not fixed in at the moment, uh, but the way they do that is uh, through the use of uh, flat pieces of metal that sit at each corner of the window. And uh, what these do uh, is they uh, are embedded into uh, the coursework, into the mortar, uh, and they prevent the window from getting blown in uh, from rough weather. Uh, I think we actually have a technical drawing, I don't think, I know, here we go, okay. So this is a section, uh, you can actually see these fat pieces of metal, which are the lintels. Um, this is our window down here, and then there's this flat piece of uh, thin metal that runs past the lintels and into the coursework, and that is those uh, uh, fixings on each corner that I was talking about. Now, uh, the actual window uh, frame has structure as well. Uh, this is a profile uh, of the bottom section of the window. This section over here. Um, and it is quite a convoluted piece of metal. Um, That surprise uh, that gives a lot of structure to the window, um, and uh, you'll also notice that there is a slant inside this section. So what we're looking at here is this is the outside. Uh, sorry, this is the inside, uh, and this is the outside, um, and this is where the window would sit. So when it rains, uh, the water comes uh, at an angle, whatever angle it comes at, it hits the window and it runs down into this trough and uh, due to gravity, it runs outside and not into uh, the living space. All right, just some photos. All right, this is uh, the lintel over here. So we're looking at the, uh, from the bottom to the top. Uh, this is the aluminum frame, and here's our coursework. Another shot of the bottom, so our uh, uh, one course bricks to give uh, the correct uh, dimensions and height to the window um, and again our aluminium frame over here just sitting on top of that outside leaf
Thank you for watching.